Hey, it's Pastor Allen. We're going to begin a new series with this session talking about how God provides in our lives. This particular talk, we're going to talk about God being our source. I believe God delights in providing for his children. He's not just good at it. His track record is perfect. They didn't always provide in the way I would imagine. One of the books in the Bible that highlights this, I think, most clearly is the book of Daniel. It's an Old Testament book, but it's a very relevant set of ideas for today. Uh, it, the story obviously is about a man named Daniel. It bears his name. But what you may or may not know is Daniel is Jewish. He was born in Jerusalem, born in Israel, and he's taken to Babylon as when the Babylonians conquer Israel. So he lives his entire life as a slave. That he's one of the most remarkable men in all of the scripture. God gave to Daniel revelation that is still informing our lives today. We read the book of Daniel to know what's ahead of us. And yet Daniel's a slave. Now I have to readjust my thinking to get my head around that, that you can be crazy blessed of God and be in a circumstance that seems uh, not only unfair and unjust, but could be very unpleasant. And yet that's Daniel's story. On top of that, maybe the best known story from the book of Daniel is Daniel in the lion's den. Do you know how he got there? It wasn't because he was a thief or a murderer or he was immoral. It's because he prayed and his peer group was so jealous of him that they managed to manipulate the legal system to get Daniel condemned to death because of his prayer life. So he goes into the lion's den and he just happens to land in the lion's den on the day when the lions aren't hungry. Now you and I say, well, God delivered him. And I would agree with you. That's a yay God moment. But in, in my opinion, if I'm the one living that out, I'd rather be delivered before I'm condemned to death, before I have the humiliation of a public trial and condemnation, before I go through the anxiety of being tossed to the lions. God delivered him, but the circumstances weren't comfortable. One more story from the book of Daniel. It's his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They serve when there's a king with a bit of an ego problem. He has a statue of himself made, commands everybody to bow before his statue. And those three young men won't bow he has them tossed into a furnace. The furnace is so hot that the men that throw them in the fire are destroyed. And yet when they walk out of the furnace, untouched by the flames, they don't even smell like smoke. That's another yay God, right? I agree. But again, I'm thinking the anxiety of being condemned, thrown into a furnace, facing the terror and the dread of that. You know, God's blessings and his goodness in our lives don't mean that all the stress is eliminated, that there's no challenges. It means we can trust God for an outcome that's in our best interest. So if you're mad at God today because he's not doing what you want, chill out. He's sovereign. Say, God, I trust you. I will follow you. God delights in blessing his kids. Doesn't mean every day's easy, but we can trust him. I want to pray for you. Father, give us the courage to say yes to you the willingness to say no to ungodliness and to follow you wherever you lead. I thank you for your faithfulness in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Don't you give up.